Un coup de sein, un coup de maître. Cela n'a duré que le passage de l'éclair pour confirmer leur notoriété et démontrer leur force de frappe. Mandine Gama vient de prouver aux yeux de la communauté leur détermination et leur promptitude à atteindre leur but. Celui de faire une communauté guinéenne dynamique et prospère. C'est la servir et servir la population guinéenne qu'ils ont laissée derrière eux. Vouloir, c'est pouvoir. Mandingama vient de signer un contrat avec la Chambre de commerce de la Chine. Cela dans la dynamique d'un partenariat en secteur privé. Ce dimanche 25 mars 2012, une vingtaine de membres composés d'hommes, de groupes de femmes, de jeunes et de sages se sont rendus à Queens. La forte délégation guinéenne arrive à l'heure. Elle fait toujours la différence et est exception à la règle. Le respect de l'heure est une denrée rare chez les Africains. Le groupe s'installe sur une rangée le long du mur. On la distingue par son accoutrement et son accueil légendaire et son sens de civisme. La salle y est solennellement habillée selon les règles de l'art. Une grande banderole s'exhibe le long du mur. À l'entrée, des certificats d'appréciation sont classés sur une table. L'ambiance est bon enfant. On apprécie les échanges d'accolades et de poignées chaudes en personnalité. Avec la présence remarquable de l'ambassadeur du Bénin, le maire de Guernsey, Mr. Smith, l'ambassadeur de Guinée représenté. M. Mohamed Barrault s'occupe à mettre en ordre les noms des participants. Bonsoir, je vous vois très occupé en ce moment. Qu'est-ce que vous faites avec tous ces documents Mais En ce moment, ce sont les préparatifs. Euh, le programme d'action de ce soir, euh, ce qui unira et jumelage de la Chine avec l'Afrique, c'est ce que je suis en train de faire présentement. Là. Et vous êtes en train de distribuer des bouts de notes oui. De quoi s'agit-il Là, il s'agit des noms de nos invités de marque euh, du côté de Mandé Ndiama et aussi du côté des Chinois, de la Chine. Donc euh, c'est ce qu'on est en train de faire en ce moment. Merci. Oui, merci. Hi, thank you very much. Can you please tell me your name and... Yeah, I'm, I'm and Mayor Wayne Smith, the mayor of Irvington, New Jersey, candidate for Congress in the 10th Congressional District of New Jersey. So can you please tell me what do you think about partnership between Chinese people and, and African community? Well, I think it's important as we look at the global dynamics Uh, China is an economic engine in the world, and Africa is uh, developing uh, all of its nations. I understand this agreement, which includes eight countries from West Africa, is an important collaboration as we look to lift the quality of life of everyone. So more than aid, we hope to create trade. And so at the end of the day, this is not about social generosity, but economic reciprocity. And so as we look at global linkages. This is what we see occurring today. So it will be trade, it will be culture, it will be education, and uh, the, the world is truly a global village and this is just a, a certainly an example of that. As a mayor, did you in the past organize this kind of partnership between uh, Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I've been to China. I've actually had uh, private companies come in and invest in my city. Uh, certainly as a uh, misplaced African. I have an appreciation for partnerships with African nations as well, and that's why I'm seeking a seat for Congress. Donald Payne was a friend of Africa, and someone has to have that global vision to carry on that tradition. But one notch up, instead of just aid, we're going to be talking about trade. We're going to be using the African Growth and Opportunity Act as a centerpiece to bring development from Africa to American cities and vice versa. American cities not knowing about, American companies in American cities not knowing about the vast opportunities for not to exploit Africa, but to trade with Africans in, in Africa. So 
that's what this whole congressional campaign, one of the focus of it will be, and I'm delighted to be here with my friends from China and Africa as we develop this partnership. Okay, this is the first time that you've been meeting, um, I mean, of this community uh, no. here tonight. I'm talking, I'm talking about uh, this group tonight here. Yes, yes. Monday, Monday ago. Okay, so this is the first time. And could you tell me what is in the future the collaboration you can establish between you and well, we're looking to see how we can work together to create trade opportunities in U.S. cities with their relationships in Africa. We also want to talk about cultural exchanges because American young people need to be, be exposed to some of their culture that they don't know about. And three, we always want to have educational exchange. So where students from Africa come to our cities and, and students from our cities get an opportunity to go to Africa to know their rich tradition, heritage, and culture. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organization, I would like to tell you a little about our history and our mission. So, the African, um, American African Asian Chamber of Commerce was established by Sir Michael Young in September 2009 with the vision of promoting economic and commercial exchanges across Asia. America and Africa. After nearly three years of efforts, the AAACC has evolved from a small organization into an influential and effective platform for international cooperation across three continents. With globalization and rapid economic development, exchanges between nations such as trade, communication, media, transportation, and tourism have increased significantly. However, due to cultural differences, and divergent economic development models, there are trade frictions and imbalances. With the goal to build a mutually beneficial platform, Sir Michael Liang established the AAACC to support fair trade and sustainable development. As a relatively young organization, the AAACC has gained a strong support. In recent years, the African, American African Asian Chamber of Commerce um, has worked with many Chinese companies to promote their products and increase their brand awareness overseas. After decades of rapid economic development in Asia, there are signs of slowdowns. The next engine of growth is Africa. The American African Asia Chamber of Commerce envisions new opportunities for African countries and has spent time and efforts to promote cooperation with the West African nations. Currently, we have signed cooperation agreements with eight countries in West Africa. President Sir Michael Liang is an outstanding Chinese-American representative in the United States. He's an eminent social activist, educator, philanthropist, and entrepreneur. With a passion for community service, he's very active in charitable and social activities. He's been widely recognized for serving as the chairman of the World Entrepreneur Association, chairman of the Association for the Promotion of International Food Arts, chairman of the Association of American Immigration, International Jazz Lion Association, Friendship Association of the United States and Asia, um, the president of the Chamber of Commerce of the United States, Africa and Asia, International Medical Service Team Chairman, Vice President of Ch Chinese American Political Council, Honorary Doctorate of Smith College, and Visiting Professor at the University of Dewey. I ask Mr. Barrow to come introduce his people. Good evening. Uh, let me first take this opportunity on behalf of the entire Mandan Jama who are here this evening, as well as our Chinese brothers and sisters and other brothers and sisters who have been invited to be here this evening to thank you and thank God for making this evening another possibility as we are all gathered here in an effort not only to know one another but to work in a very transparent way in terms of cooperation and understanding and mutual respect between these two parties. But first, I would like to introduce to you our elderly individual who oversees the activities of different people in our community. As we are diverse community, and therefore he has got enormous amount of responsibilities 
to make sure that whatever we do is being done in the interest of all of us. So therefore, I will want to introduce to you that elderly person in the name of Alaj Ahmad Fona. Thank you, thank you very much, Nanya, for, for the brothers and sisters in the world, those who do not know that this is our culture, this is a tradition, and uh, the Manden is full of culture and tradition, and every time somebody's name is worth, that has done very well in the community in trying to bring people from all walks of life, so we want to remind those people that the work they're doing is very good, and they should continue with that good job. Thank you so much. And the next would have been His Excellency, the Ambassador uh, of the Republic of Guinea to the United States in the person of Blaise Sharif. But he is not here. He's been deputized by uh, His Excellency, Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali Kamara. And uh, Mr. Ali Kamara, the Consul of Guinea, the Republic of Guinea, has been accompanied by Madame, Madame Mrs. Ali Kamara. <laughs> and also, I would like to introduce to you another elderly who has been very much instrumental in making sure that whatever we do, is done very well, diligently, and uh, in the interest of all of us. So that one too is no other person but Mohammed Mubaku Tubaka Baru. Because of time, I may not. Uh, go ahead and introduce the rest of the people, but you will know that as we go on. But I will just want to mention a little bit about the organization Mandane Jama. Mandane Jama is composed of eight different West African countries, as uh, they represent the empire of Mandane, those who have gone through the history, West African history, so to speak of, uh, for almost 900 years ago. And we are a diverse community, so we knew that coming together and try to keep against sectionalism, nepotism, ethnocentrism, and the like is the most important thing for all of us to move forward. At that point, I would like to hand over the mic. I would like to hand over the mic to another brother who will give a uh, brief overview in French for those of us who speak French and who will understand what it is that is called Mandin Jama. With that, I thank you so much for listening. Um, he said he was going to speak in French, then I will do the interpretation. Au 
nom du vieux sage du Mandeng, au nom de toute l'association des pays Mandeng de l'Afrique du de, de, de l'Ouest. Uh, on behalf of the elders of Mandeng and on behalf of all the countries that constitute Mandeng Jama. Parce que dans notre continent, il y a 14 pays qui parlent la langue Mandeng. Because in our continent, which is Africa, you have 14 countries that speak that dialect, Mandeng. C'est pourquoi c'est l'une des langues les plus importantes de l'Afrique. That is the reason why it is called one of the languages very, very much important in Africa. Cette amitié que nous tissons aujourd'hui entre la Chine, l'Amérique et le Mandeng n'est pas une nouvelle amitié. This friendship between the Mandeng and the Chinese, China and the United States of America is not anything surprising. It is not new. It has always been there. In 1958, in 1958, Quand la Guinée a eu l'indépendance, when Guinea had independence, grâce à la Chine, la Guinée est rentrée à l'ONU. Uh, thank God to China, Guinea had the opportunity to be part of United Nations. Parce que ça a été le premier pays qui a voté pour la Guinée. That was the one of the countries that voted for Guinea at the time. Alors c'est pour vous dire que l'amitié n'est pas neuve. It is just to say briefly that friendship is, uh, is an old friendship. It has always been there. Notre vieux qui est là, que Dieu lui donne la longue vie. The elderly dad that we have among us, may God strengthen and give him longevity. Et c'est une grande chance pour nous qu'il soit parmi nous ce soir pour être témoin de ce qui va se passer et de tisser re, et de renforcer le tissu social de notre amitié pour un avenir meilleur des deux peuples. It has been a big opportunity for all of us to have him among all of us here this evening in an effort not only to know all of us but to be part of what we are doing here to strengthen that unity, that solidarity among us. Et les Malinqués disent dans un proverbe there's a, there's a Mandingo proverb that he's going to say. Que rien ne viendra dans le dans l'estomac du, du de la chèvre qui va étonner l'hyène. There's nothing that will come in the stomach of a goat that will frighten uh, 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 the, the, the lion. C'est pour dire que nous nous attendons de tout ce qui est bien entre la Chine et la Guinée et l'Amérique. Uh, that is to say simply that we are looking forward to having everything good between uh, China and Guinea and uh, between the United States of America and Guinea and among the three countries. Au nom du sage du Mandeng, on behalf of the elderly of Mandeng, et je me félicite de quelque chose. He would like to even congratulate himself for something. Depuis le septième siècle, since the seventh century, his family, his family is the spokesperson of Mandeng. If he finds himself in this position right here, Je ne peux pas trouver de l'opportunité plus que cela. He will never have any other opportunity other than this one that he has right here. Ma sœur qui a chanté, the sister that just sang, did a praise singing. Ça c'est son travail. That is her, um, that is her job, and that is what he's supposed to be doing every time such decent crowd come together. Alors, uh, notre père, our dad, notre vieux. Our elderly, our chef, our chief, El Ajifal, El Ajifal. Il me charge de vous remercier. He has ordered him to thank you very much. Notre patron est là, our, Mobako. Our other able director is here, Mobako. Le vieux Fal me charge de vous confier son peuple. The elderly is asking him to entrust 
the people of Mandeng in your hands. Alors, je ne peux pas continuer à parler. Je suis tellement ému que je ne veux pas faire de dérapage. He does not want to go further because because of time. So he would like to stop right here. Tout en vous présentant mes excuses. And uh, asking you to excuse him for holding the mic that long. Tout ce qui se passe, tout ce que j'ai eu à dire, s'il y a des erreurs là-dedans, vous me pardonnez à moi. If there is anything that he has said that is not appropriate, and you may excuse him for that. De bien plus que cela. He has been ordered to say better than what he had already said. Mais quand on est trop content, y a des mots qui when you are very much happy, sometimes you may even not have the opportunity Donc, to have the right word. Thank you so much. Merci. Vous voulez... Mabako? I think, yeah. Uh, somebody will have to come and present. Okay. Uh, let me just... Yeah. All right. Okay. As, as I promised that somebody was going to be here to present to you the rest of the uh, members of Manding, but I've been charged with that responsibility to do that before I take my seat. The first person on the list is uh, Mr. Siddiqui Touré. Next is Mr. Abdullah Sano. Also, Mr. Madi Kamara. Mrs. Dusu Konde. Mrs. Sano. Mrs. Pinda Ba. Mrs. Toromba Ulare. Mrs. Dusu Traore. Yeah. Mr. Jiba Jumande. Mr. Los Fufana. Mr. Sidikiba Kamara. Imam Jiba Berete. Mrs. Dusu Kaba. Mrs. Bintu Ture. Myself, Surakata Konde. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Abubakar Kaba. Mrs. Khadija Sise. Mrs. Nene Bafal, Mr. Mamadi Kuyate, Mrs. Dusuba Kuruma, Mr. Mohamed Lamin Sherif, Mr. Abubakar Konde, Mrs. Rukia Sharif, Mrs. Kanigwe Kantara, and uh, that was the end of the presentation. And I thank you very much. Excuse me. And Madam Nana Nanya Jabate, and Mr. Jiba Kamara, the police. Good evening, Nimen Hao. 
Women Hengau Singh. Women Siwang. Women Geng Jungo. Um, Mego Geng Tinea. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Women. I think I did a mistake. I forgot one of the brothers whose name is uh, Jakaria Fufana. Please stand up. Stand up, sir. Thank you. And also, uh, Jiba Kamara, the police. You can stand up again, please. Thank you. Our able police officer, thanks. Thank you. Hello again. Um, we are about to commence the signing ceremony, so may I ask the, uh, the following members to come up. Sir Michael Liang. Honorable Mohammed Mobako Tuba Kabaro. Robert Abram, Alhaj Al Amadou Forna, Dr. Zal Velez, His Excellency Mr. Blaise Sharif, and Ibrahim Sharif. I will now read to you the proclamation. The official partnership agreement between Afri America, Africa, Asia Chamber of Commerce and Mandan Daima of North America in New York City, New York, USA. American African Asian Chamber of Commerce, New York, United States of America, and Mandan Daima of North America, New York City, United States of America, in an effort to enhance the people's mutual understanding and friendship between the two associations, to promote partnership exchanges and cooperation through friendly consultation, have reached and proclaimed the following agreement. One, we will both adhere to the principles of equality and mutual benefit by actively promoting industry, economy, travel, and tourism between Africa and China through exchanges and cooperation. In order to enhance understanding, promote friendship between the two associations, we shall both carry on extensive exchanges and cooperation in culture, education, and other fields. T to strengthen the friendly exchanges between the two people of the associations, the industry representatives and social organization in both fields between both sides shall carry out regular and occasional visits. This agreement shall be issued in duplicate and signed and a signed original shall be retained by both parties of this agreement. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kati, for reading the proclamation. Uh, if I can have your attention, we would like to read the same thing for our people in French. Thank you. Mande Jama de l'Afrique de pardon, Mande Jama de l'Amérique du Nord. Proclamation. Accord officiel entre Mande Jama New York USA et la Chambre de commerce, industrie asiatique, africaine, américaine à New York. Mandé Jama d'Amérique du Nord, New York, États-Unis d'Amérique, et la Chambre de commerce et industrie asiatique, africaine, et américaine New York 
dans un effort pour améliorer les compréhensions mutuelles des personnes et l'amitié entre les deux associations pour promouvoir des échanges de coopération par la consultation amicale, ont atteint et proclament l'accord suivant. 1. Nous adhérons au principe d'égalité et à l'avantage mutuel en promouvant activement l'industrie, l'industrie, le voyage et le tourisme entre l'Afrique, la Chine, par des échanges et la coopération. 2. Pour améliorer la compréhension, promouvoir l'amitié entre les deux associations, nous continuerons des échanges et la vaste coopération dans le domaine de la culture, l'éducation et dans les autres domaines. 3. Pour fortifier les échanges amicaux, entre les personnes des deux associations, les représentants d'industrie et l'organisation sociale dans les divers domaines entre les deux côtés et doivent exécuter des visites régulières ou occasionnelles. 4. Cet accord sera fait en deux exemplaires et un original sera signé et donné à chacun des deux parties. Du côté du mandat, il y a notre Soti commun, Elaj Amadou Forna. Du côté de la Guinée, il y a son Excellence Blaise Sherif qui est représenté par M. Kamara Ali. Et enfin, il y a moi-même, Mohamed Mobaka Toubaka Baro. Du côté de du côté asiatique et américain, il y a Mr. Michael Long, il y a M. Robert Abraham et il y a Dr. Zal Valez. Je vous remercie. Um, I now ask all of you fine representatives to please take a seat, continue eating. And um, Dr. Velez, would you please stand by? Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to this wonderful, wonderful historic meeting and grouping of well intentioned men and women who, as a reason, for the coming together will bring about a united and progressive opportunity for African nations as well as Asian and the United States to bring about success and fulfillment of all our dreams to have a better life. Tonight, and I know I have to say something more. Let me acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Ambassador Jane Frances Senson of Benin, Excellencies of uh, uh, African countries, the Consul General and representative of the Consulate of the other nations who are here, the elders who are here with us. His name is Excellency Kamara Ali. Thank you. Excellency Kamala Ali. And uh, of course, uh, I need to present this award. But before I do, I will take this opportunity, since I may not have the chance to say this again, to introduce to you the man well deserved to receive this award. He's no other than Mayor Wayne Smith. The mayor of Irvington, New Jersey, the third largest city in New Jersey. 
And may I also present to you his achievement. He is the president of the Urban Mayors League of New Jersey, comprising of 26 cities in New Jersey, one of the largest, in fact, if not the largest, in New Jersey. I would like also to let you know that Mayor Smith has been mayor for three terms. Okay? And that is very historic. There is no mayor in Irvington who has been elected three times. So we're really very happy and proud because Mayor Smith is also an internationalist. He's one of those who is promoting international trade. In fact, the International Trade Commission has been formed, uh, of course, with Abraham Sarip, our executive director, Sir Michael Leong as one of the members of the board, and I serve as chairman. I would like also to acknowledge the fact that Chip Abraham, who has been the president, the president of the Asian uh, African Chamber of Commerce, has been diligent in ensuring that our efforts here tonight will not just go in vain, but will produce something very solid, not only for today, but for the generation yet to come. I am just so happy and impressed with the presence of our beautifully world, uh, uh, fashionable, okay, uh, dresses of our beautiful women and the men who represent the leadership of Africa, well-dressed. And I think if the fashion designers are here tonight, they will just have to duplicate your attire. <laughs> Let me acknowledge also the princess. Princess, I'll tell you why. Because she represents the beauty of Africa and the likes of Cleopatra, if you recall, the fairest maiden in history. And you have the princess over there representing her. And also, of course, our operatic uh, madame. Okay? But next time when you start giving away those uh, dollars, make it not one dollar, but hundred dollars. <laughs> and I'll tell you, we will do that. I think that with this meeting tonight, we are not only going to purge a real relationship, but a productive one. Okay? Already, uh, the ambassador of Benin can ascertain to you that no less than 16 mayors from Benin came here to promote their industry. And I'm sure that people in China, as well as in the United States, well represented by our mayor here in Irvington, we can promote real, actual trade. So in fact, with this presentation, I'm also asking you, all right? And I'm well prepared to make your commitment with me. I'm passing this so that you will be part of the committee of Mayor Smith, who is running for Congress in the 10th District of New Jersey. Okay? And I hope that all of us here, whether you live in New Jersey or outside New Jersey, will be part of this committee. You agree to that? Yeah! Okay. So I'm going to ask you, without much ado, those in favor of our complete endorsement for the congressional uh, seat of the 10th District of New Jersey, Mayor Wayne Smith for Congress. Raise your hand. Yes. So I think Mayor Smith, without much ado, let me ask Sir Michael Leong to help me and uh, present this to you. Okay. The African American Asian Chamber of Commerce Certificate of Appreciation awarded to Honorable Mayor Wayne Smith in appreciation for your distinguished service and outstanding leadership. Signed, Mr. Abraham, 
Chip Abraham, come over here and signed by Sir Michael Leon. Let me hear a response from Honorable Mayor Smith, who is going to be our next Congressman of the 10th District of New Jersey. Congressman, future Congressman Mayor Smith. Nehemiah. Bonsoir. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening to the distinguished leaders of this organization and this mutual partnership, to the ambassadors who are with us and who are representing the Council General of their respective countries, I am honored and humbled to be here to accept this uh, gracious award. And I accept it in the spirit of the challenges that we have as a global community. And that challenge for the United States is America didn't become great by keeping people out. America became great for allowing people to come in. And so the issue for us is how do we replicate this around the world? Some people predicted that we would have a clash of civilizations between China, the Islamic world, and Africa. T today's example shows by mutual cooperation and consultation that we can work together to solve the ills of the world, and there are many. The number one challenge is how do we maximize our world resources so that everyone eats, that everyone has a job, that everyone has a quality education, that everybody has decent health care. And we can do that with these kinds of mutual co co collaborations. As a mayor, we've tried to take a global view to our municipal government. And at the same time, as I seek the office of the 10th Congressional District of New Jersey, I'm actually going to follow in the footsteps of a great international leader, and that was our deceased, the Honorable Donald M. Payne. Congressman Payne was a true friend to Africa, and I'm going to follow in that tradition. One added component, because Congressman Payne was a great humanitarian, I'm going to follow in that vein, but I also understand it we have to not just have aid, we must have trade. And so that we have a balanced trade and resource arrangement between the United States, between China and Africa, can grow this global economy so that everyone can live well. I thank you for this award. I look forward to working with you not only as the mayor, but as a representative, as a member of the House of Representatives as we address the world's problems. Thank you very much.